the currency in the world today is science, right? Is quantification and data. A friend of mine studies uh, black pastors in the South, and um, he's not a Christian, he's not a believer, but you know, he's been interviewing the, the transformation of the lives of these black pastors in the South for about 20 years. And he's a sociologist, and he wants to know what does it mean to be wrestling with issues of race and faith at the same time, one of the biggest narratives as a, as a pastor is this exodus that God will one day set you free. And it really resonates with the African-American community. But what happens if now the pastor of this church is now driving a Lexus? You know, does that mean that they've already achieved it? Clearly, that's not what the world says. So that's the kind of really deep, sophisticated, in-depth question he's dealing with. But most of the journals that he's submitting his work to keep saying to him, where's the data? And he's saying, this is the data. I mean, what it means to be a human is to talk to them and to understand with them. You can't quantify and distill this into a bunch of numbers. That's trivi trivializing the work. So the world is obsessed with truth based on data. And, uh, and it's dangerous because it's wrong. That's the simple stuff. The, the thing is, I think that absolutely makes sense if you're in the science world. I mean, you should be judged, right, by data and in the sciences. Yeah. But the problem is when you start leaving the world and using the same set of tools. One of my favorite people is Richard Dawkins. I like him because he's truly passionate about, about what he believes in. Uh, and I'd rather have somebody who's passionate and against, you know, against faith or against God. That's great. I'm, I'm glad he's putting his chips on the table. But the reason I struggle with him is because he's not trained as a philosopher. He's not trained as a theologian. He's trained as a, uh, as a biologist, as, a, as an evolutionary biologist. He's brilliant at what he does. But you can't take those same set of tools and say, now I have enough tools to answer any questions. Uh, Stephen Hawking did the same thing when he talked about uh, philosophy being dead. You know, he said, philosophy is now dead. Well, that statement is a philosophical statement. So he's using philosophy to talk about philosophy being dead. And I mean, he's a brilliant uh, cosmologist. He's a brilliant physicist, one of the greatest who's ever existed. But to say that those weapons in physics can now be used to shoot down other arguments in history and in science and uh, in history and political science um, and philosophy is, uh, is dangerous and wrong.